How's it going guys? Here's Jonas from Magix. I hope you're ready to dive deep into editing MIDI notes. If you haven't seen my video on software instruments, you might want to take a look at it before watching this video, as it shows you how to record MIDI notes. MIDI is a way of capturing sequences of notes that you can play with your software instruments. It lets you easily tweak the melodies and drum patterns of your track. Here I'm working on a hip-hop beat for which I recorded this synth line. Now I like what I recorded, but I would like to perfect the notes. To do this, I double-click my recorded MIDI clip to open up the MIDI editor. Here, you're able to edit the existing MIDI notes, remove them, or add new ones. With my track, I will first use the quantization feature to align the notes I recorded tighter to the grid. This way you can quickly fix little mistakes made during the recording of your melody. I'll set the grid value to 8, and hit the Quantize Notes button. You can experiment with different grid values to see how it affects what you recorded. To quantize, you can also use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl Q. Now let's hear the quantized version. You can hear that the melody in this track now fits in tighter with the rest of the track. Sometimes you might want more of a loose feel for your track, so it's up to you to decide when you want to use the quantization feature to straighten up your MIDI notes. As I mentioned before, MIDI notes can also be used to write drum patterns. Here, I've loaded a drum machine VST. Please note that in the top menu bar, you can switch between the drum editor view and the piano roll view, which I used for quantization. To write new MIDI notes, select the Draw tool and draw a note with the left click. The shortcut for the Draw tool is Ctrl-2. To switch over to the Selection tool, you can hit Ctrl-1. To extend or shorten a note, drag the beginning or end of it. To delete a note, select it and hit delete on your computer. You can also select multiple notes and delete them. Or duplicate them by holding down the control key. To change how loud the notes play, you can edit the velocity of the notes by enabling show velocity. By having notes play at different velocities, you can change the dynamics of the sounds in your track. Let's go back to my synth line. I want to show you a little pro tip. Now that my MIDI recording has been perfected, I will duplicate the sequence of lower notes so that they play in a lower octave simultaneously. To do this, I choose the notes I want to duplicate and hold down the Ctrl and Shift keys before dragging them down. In this case, holding down the Shift, make sure your notes stay in the same timing. Now, as you will hear from the end result, this gives my synth line a more powerful impact. With Music Maker, it's as simple as that. Thank you. 